When we talked to you at 6, this bridge here near Manchester and Bragg was completely covered in water, but that water has since receded, just leaving behind these mud and rocks here all over the road, and the road is still closed at this hour. I want to show you the river here. This is the lower Little River, which crested just above 31 feet earlier today. It's still just above 28 feet, which is considered major flood stage. But the neighbors nearby here, they're really concerned about a dam nearby that's already been breached and could be damaged further. As the water kept rising in and around Spring Lake, neighbors near Collingwood Street got worried. We've been out here for years, you know. I've been out here since 85, and I've never seen anything like this before. Some people ended up at this shelter on Ruth Street where the Red Cross was helping them. We're always responding to disasters, both large and small. Brian Lane just bought his house a month ago, but at noon, he was told he had to go. He was back around 6.30 with minimal damage to his garage. Now, he's concerned about what's next. We just put a bunch of money in this place, and, you know, if that dam is going to take my house out, the state's going to pay. Spring Lake officials came by the neighborhood to take a look at the creek running behind Collingwood. Really Mayor Chris Ray had just seen the dam upstream at Carver's Creek State Park. He showed us this video of the breach. And so all of that was earth. And explain the trees that are still there are what's keeping the rest of the dam together. Hoping that there's no more rain to knock down more trees, that will take out more earth, that will make more water flow. In addition to the shelter here in Spring Lake, there was also one open in Fayetteville. That closed earlier this evening, but the one in Spring Lake is going to stay open for as long as people here in the community need it. Live in Spring Lake, Michael Highland, CBS North Carolina. Michael, thank you. Crews have been working throughout the day in Hornet County to fix road flooding from the dangerous storm overnight. Thompson Road in Lillington was completely washed out and split the roadway in two. CBS North Carolina cameras also caught flooding at Anderson and Jumping Run Creek, where flooding caused some road closures throughout the day. Thompson Road in Lillington will be repaired in the next two weeks, but the road will not reopen for at least a month.